Building projects helps you cement ideas you've learned as well as teach you new tools and concepts. Today, we'll take a look at five software project ideas that can make you money. You're free to use these ideas as long as you hit that like button. But first, I think it's important to mention an idea is just an idea. Most of them are not unique or new. What really matters is the execution. As Steve Jobs famously said, ideas are worth nothing unless executed. Execution is worth millions. If you find building new projects difficult, you should check out my other video where I break down the three key steps used by many software developers. Our first idea is to create an app that lets users rent items to others in their local area. This way, everyone wins. People can make some extra money while others can use the items at a reduced cost. Creating an application like this may require some legal work to figure out liabilities, but you can charge some percentage fee on top of each transaction. You could build this application using any mobile technology like NativeScript or Flutter. All of these integrate nicely with Amplify for the backend. Amplify is a set of services by Amazon that can be used to create scalable, full-stack applications. You'll also want to use a third-party payment system since building one of these can be very challenging. For that, I would recommend Stripe. Stripe offers a bunch of payment APIs to help make this process super easy. It's used by many teams around the world and it's a really useful skill that can be used in future projects. If you're more into creating social platforms, you could create a poll app where users can create questions for others to answer. Almost every platform, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, support poll questions, but building a platform dedicated to it would provide a better user experience. What's great about polls is they provide a high level of engagement. Users may be interested in the question and the results of the question. You could build this app using Firebase and React Native and then monetize it using ads. This app idea could become really popular if you create a recommendation engine to show users polls that they are most likely to interact with. You'll probably need to create a machine learning model and deploy it to production. Thankfully, Firebase offers a service for doing this. Just keep in mind, building an app that runs on iPhone can have a large upfront cost. You may need to purchase a Mac as well as pay an annual app developer fee. Skillshare, Udemy, and other platforms are great for finding and sharing courses to learn about different technologies. But many content creators or companies don't want to pay fees for using such platforms. Additionally, these platforms don't let users create custom interactive elements for making their courses more engaging. If someone was to create an open source platform, companies and content creators would use it. You might think if it's open source, it would be hard to monetize. But many companies have been built on top of open source products. A common way to monetize them is to offer consulting services, which could be for hosting, managing, or adding custom modules. Many people also recognize the amount of work that goes into building free software, so they may also donate to you. Plus, sharing code makes it easier to show your work to potential employers. You could build this using any front-end technology like React, Vue, or Svelte, and a custom backend using Node.js as a GraphQL server. This way, you can avoid vendor lock, which means users can deploy it to any cloud provider. To make deployment easier, you'll want to containerize your application with Docker and maybe even write some configuration YML files so it can be deployed to Kubernetes for scalability. Another idea is to build a plant sensor. You could hook up a microcontroller and a moisture sensor to determine when you should next water the plants. These sensors would report their values to a centralized web server that could run on your computer. You'll need to wire up a basic circuit using an ESP and moisture sensor, as well as learn some lower level languages like C. Then you can send the results over Wi-Fi to a Node.js process running on your computer. This process could read and save the results into an Excel file where you could visualize the data. What's also great about this idea is you could really expand on it. You could add more sensors to the microcontroller like a light sensor or even a pump. You could also create a desktop interface with Electron where you could visualize and see the results of these sensors in real time. To monetize this idea, you could sell these sensors along with an online service for visualizing the data. While data from a plant can be useful, information about an item in stock can be more important for many. You could create a web scraping tool to check if a specific item is in stock. 
Once you grab that data, you could use this information to send notifications to users. This concept can really be useful for any type of item, but with the current situation on the latest graphics cards, you could use it to get your hands on one of those 3000 series. To build a system, you can use Node.js process that uses Puppeteer to scrape site data and then files off an email with NodeMailer. Make sure you follow any rules set out by websites you are scraping. An even better way to implement this would be to use a pub sub system, where you could have multiple processes scraping data and publishing the results, while other services like a mailer or SMS messenger could fire off messages whenever events happen. You could also create a front end web page where users could see which items are in stock across multiple stores. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to learn more about any of these technologies, check out my channel. I also have a growing community over on Discord if you'd like to chat. Hope to see you in the next one.